Hey, what's going on guys? So I just kind of wanted to make a video about uh, my some of my thoughts about the PS5 and the Xbox Series X. So yeah, pretty much uh, I've been watching this this whole PS5 and Xbox Series X thing happen, you know, in the um, playing the little chicken with each other. They haven't released, put out a release date or price yet, and it's just kind of fun to watch. You know, I'm excited about both systems. Um, I have an Xbox One S. Uh, I never had a PS4, so um, I actually really want to get a PS5. I really like, I mean, what the games that they showed, um, and you know, it just looks really sleek, and the controller looks awesome, and all the new features, the haptic feedback on the controller. And, so I'm definitely getting a PS5 and I'm gonna pre-order one right when the pre-orders come out. <laughs> I've already like made a choice on that. I can't decide if I want the um, the digital edition or the one with the disc. I guess it might depend on the price a little bit, but um, I mostly buy di games digitally now, but it might be nice just to have the disc just in case I wanna watch a Blu-ray or you know, a 4K Blu-ray. Uh, this TV is actually a 1080p, so it doesn't really matter. I don't care about the 4K gaming that much. Um, but yeah, just to be able to watch a Blu-ray, because sometimes I still buy Blu-rays and DVDs. Um, and I have a couple 4K Blu-rays as well. And I, I may upgrade this TV at some point too. But we have a 4K in the other room. So we were thinking of moving the Xbox One S into the other room and having the PS5 be in here. This is kind of the gaming room and that's more like the living room out there. Um, so uh, I have a Blu-ray player out there, but it'd be nice to have the 4K Blu-ray with the Xbox One S in the other room with the 4K TV. So that's what we're trying to plan to do. But the Xbox Series X actually looks really cool too, but I think I'm gonna hold off on it and I'm not gonna buy it uh, right when it comes out. Um, it doesn't seem like it's necessary, like everything, all the games are still gonna be on the Xbox One. I mean, it would be nice to have the higher powered system that it doesn't have the loading and everything, you know, that they're talking about. Um, but it might be tough, you know, to just buy the PS5 and the Xbox Series X at once. You know, that's a lot of money to spend right up front. And I think I can get by with getting one later, maybe in 2021. But I'm more kind of an Xbox guy. So yeah, I kind of, I like the Xbox and I'd rather play when Resident Evil 8 comes out, I'd rather play that on the Xbox than the PS5. I like the controller of the Xbox more. I've always thought the PS4, I had tried it on a friend, and just the PlayStation controller, I don't like how the C-sticks are right next to each other. I like the offset C-sticks uh, of the Xbox One. The controller just feels so nice. Um, but it does look like the new controller on the PS5 it's a little thicker, so I like the. It kind of looks a little like like it'd be a little more comfortable in my hands as well. I just thought that other controller was really kind of they had it that thin kind of style. I know a lot of people like it, but I'm just more of an Xbox um, a controller guy. I love the Xbox controller. Um, but yeah, so yeah, it's it's pretty wild. Yeah, it just kind of like it's just interesting to try to get my thoughts out about what's going on with this and we're at what August twentieth right now, August twenty first, and they haven't put out any release date or price you know they one of them i think xbox got burned in the last one because they put out their price and then ps4 undercut them by 100 bucks and ps4 went on to winning kind of that generation and xbox kind of fumbled at the beginning but so it's it's almost like unfair of like PlayStation to still be waiting. It seems like it's their turn to like announce the price first, you know, like they gotta, you know, but they're being like assholes, you know, and just waiting and, you know, waiting for to see if Xbox will do it first. And Xbox will probably just do it. Like they're trying to kind of get more of the PC market and just have you be a Game Pass subscriber. And they don't, they're trying to kind of win in a different way because PlayStation really does kind of dominate with their first party exclusives. and. Um, you know, it's kind of, you know, they have to compete like almost in a different way, but they are still like competing against each other too. It's like, if they didn't care at all, they would have wanted, they would, they wouldn't be, you know, they would just put out the price and the release date, but they, they obviously do care about the sales of the console because I mean, they're expensive consoles with the SSD and, you know, all the high powered features. I'm sure that they cost a lot to make. So it's, you know, they, they probably don't want to take too much of a hit. Um, you know, they want to try to sell it for as, as much as they can, but at the same time, not sell it for too much to where nobody buys it. So, 
um, but yeah, it's just it's such a such a strange thing, you know, what's going on with all this, and it, you know, we got the COVID, you know, hopefully nothing gets delayed, like you know, the consoles can come out, cause I this is like what's trying to keep me. I'm like, man, you know, I really need this to look forward to <laughs> at the end of the year here, because this year is just haven't there hasn't been too much to like look forward to. A lot of stuff got canceled, and can't go to the movies. Um, you can't, um, you know, can't do a lot of things. A lot of movies and um, stuff have gotten delayed as well to the next year. So yeah, it's just like we really, I really want these like consoles to come out. <laughs> so, uh, so yeah, but the yeah the PS Five, I'm, I'm uh, once you know I already put in a notification. I know they're not gonna just uh, drop the pr uh, release. They're not gonna just gonna put the pre orders out. They're actually gonna announce it, is what they said. So that makes it fair for everybody to be able to pre order it. And I, I guess they're gonna have some way where you can't pre order more than one as well. So the scalpers and stuff, you know. Um, can't just buy a bunch you know and try to sell them on ebay and so yeah hopefully hopefully i'll be able to get one i know it's probably a lot of people are going to be pre-ordering yeah it's it's you know it's like everyone's excited it's new technology new game it's just you know even though the first system sometimes will have some problems it's just like you just want it you know <laughs> they're just excited like you want that new thing you know and we've been waiting kind of for a while and and yeah they've been you know doing all the they, they just put out a couple trailers um but anyways, yeah, the, uh, the the yard blower guy's out here making a bunch of noise, so <laughs> uh, I'm going to go ahead and finish up this video. But yeah, I just wanted to have some kind of quick little thoughts here on um, on this whole, you know, fiasco that's going on with PS5 and Xbox Series X. And, you know, if you, if you want to add to the discussion, it'd be interesting to just hear what everyone else is thinking about what's going on as well. But um, anyways, yeah, thanks guys for watching me ramble, and I'll see you guys soon. Thanks. Bye.